Pentru Halloween-ul ce tocmai a trecut, Guillermo del Toro ne-a oferit o flamboyantă poveste romantică cu stafii care ne trimite direct la tradiția literaturii gotice. Oroare, dramă și romantism. Iată ingredientele de bază ale unei povești pe care cineastul mexican a dorit să o înscrie în tapiseria complexă a unui gen care a apărut acum trei secole și care este prezent și astăzi. It was very inspired by by books and paintings and then by movies in that order. I think that uh, I, when I was a kid, I read most Gothic romances by Anne Radcliffe, uh, by Matthew G. Lewis, by Joseph Sheridan Le Fanu, who wrote Uncle Silas, and then all the main ones, you know, Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, in the case of Dickens, Great Expectations, and so forth. And and I really absorbed that that flavor, you know and E.T.A. Hoffman, his short tales. And then we were very inspired by the paintings of Caspar David Friedrich uh, Grimshaw, the, the, the Victorian painter. There's actually a couple of images on Crimson that are exactly Grimshaw's, you know, with the cloud, uh, the cloud covered, covered moon and the dry leaves in the avenue and all that. And, and uh, I just felt I wanted to capture a, a feeling of the old movies that I saw. My first movie as a kid at age four was Wuthering Heights mm -hmm. with Laurence Olivier. So it really imprinted in me. And I, I, when I was preparing Crimson, I was watching Spiral Ter Staircase with Dorothy McGuire, uh, Dragon Week with Vincent Price, Jane Eyre with Orson Welles, and so on and so forth. And I wanted to, to make this movie feel like that, to feel uh, at the same time very old fashioned, but with some notably modern gender politics and sexuality and violence. And it's a, a pure Gothic romance. It's, I don't try to reinvent it, I don't try to be postmodern about it. Ca gen literar, goticul a apărut acum două secole și jumătate, când Horace Walpaul a scris romanul Castelul din Atlanta, subintitulat O poveste gotică. Groază, moarte și romantism, în decoruri amintind de evul mediu, goticul avea să fie menit unei popularități longevide, prelungită și în zilele noastre, în diverse forme și manifestări, de la cărți, la filme și muzică, și la o întreagă subcultură contemporană. Pentru a jongla cu toate aceste influențe, cineastul mexican știe că trebuie să înțelegi perfect întreaga tradiție gotică pentru a traduce ingredientele într-un film hollywoodian. Uh, the, birth of, the birth of Gothic at the inception in 1780s, you know, the, the, it's a, a sort of a counter movement, a romantic counter movement against academia, the age of reason, everything being sort of stodgy and Uh, intellectual rather than emotional and then out of that comes this crazy little offshoot which is gothic romance you know and and to me the fascination of that is that it's always been very close to the dynamics of a fairy tale you know with with a princess traveling to a castle falling in love with a dark prince discovering a dark secret blah 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 and the seeds of that i think uh, then transform over time into narratives that have very close parentage And when you think about Jane Eyre, you think of Rebecca, very similar structures. And there are certain rules that you derive from that, from reading Anne Radcliffe, from reading um, uh, even Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher, things like that. There are certain things that you derive that you can apply to make it feel like um, an, an old, traditional, uh, dark, gothic romance in the way that I tried to do Pan's Labyrinth as a traditional fairy tale that you feel this must be a traditional fairy tale, but it isn't. And then what you do is you play with those conventions. One of the dictums of Gothic romance that I heard that puts it beautiful is Henry James that says Gothic romance, uh, it's about uh, the past, which is represented by the ghosts and our impossibility to move into the future. And I thought that's, that's going to become central to Crimson Peak. So stuff like that, I, 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 I try to stay on top of it, but I've read most everything that I feel is important for it.
În ciuda ororilor, astafiilor și atmosferei crepusculare, Del Toro spune că filmul său nu este o poveste horror. We have to market it like horror. Yeah. It's not horror. It's spooky rather than scary. Eerie and romantic in a way that is not uh, when Harry met Sally. It's romantic in a sort of melancholic sense of loss kind of way. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, uh, gothic romance is a very close cousin of horror and it's a very close cousin of fairy tale. So somewhere in between, I hope people find that in drama. What do you want? You have nowhere else to go. This is your home now.